Daniel Suarez gets his own a TV show. The Clash may be staying in L.A. for the foreseeable future, and NASCAR has another documentary series coming out. All that and more coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? If I haven't earned your subscription, hopefully today is the day that I earn it. All right, Daniel Suarez is getting his own TV show. He will host it on FYI. The name of it will be called United We Drive. That will debut on Thursday, February 3rd. The NASCAR driver posted the first trailer for the series February 2nd, and it will highlight classic car enthusiasts and how car culture can bring people together regardless of background, age, economic status, gender, race, or anything else. So that just continues an off season of Trackhouse being on fire. They're, they're in the PGA now. They're partnering with the UFC. They got a driver on TV as a host for a car show. Trackhouse is doing everything you need to do to bring fans in, not only to Trackhouse, but to NASCAR. So one of the cool things about Daniel Suarez hosting is you'll get people that might not even care about NASCAR, but they'll watch that TV show and be like, well, I kind of like this Daniel Suarez guy. I'm gonna watch him you know, at the racetrack uh, when he races or whatever so there you might get a new just a new set of eyes for NASCAR so I think this is the right way to go about you know bringing new fans in and ironically it's not anything NASCAR doing it's something Trackhouse is doing so I think Trackhouse is regardless of how they run I think they're going to have a positive impact on the sport going forward. So Sunday's clash at the Coliseum might not be a one-off after all I thought it was going to be a one-off but this has recently surfaced this article coming from uh, N NBC Sports. Sunday's clash at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum could mark the first of three consecutive years the exhibi exhibition race is held there based on an agreement between NASCAR and the University of Southern California, which manages the Coliseum. Joe Furin, general manager of the LA Memorial Coliseum, told NBC Sports Tuesday that NASCAR's agreement with a three -year, was a three-year deal with options on the last two years. NASCAR holds the option of it to continue the event at the Coliseum. NASCAR has 90 days after Sunday's race to state if it wishes to return next year, Furin said. So it sounds like NASCAR is just sort of using this because they've got that 90 day window. So if this goes well, NASCAR has 90 days to re-up and in the foreseeable future, or at least the next two years after this race, NASCAR could be back at the Coliseum if it goes well. So we're still sort of up in the air if this is a one-off or not, because if it goes bad, they most likely will not renew that contract. And Bob Apocris is reporting that NASCAR has been informing teams this week that no political campaign, no political action committee sponsors are allowed. No written policy as of yet has been distributed as far as detailing what would be banned and what would be allowed. Without a written policy or statement, hard to know what NASCAR will allow. But for an example, Kyle Weatherman's sponsor, PORAC, Peace Officers Research Association of California, which has a legislative advocacy component, is allowed with, to have a name and logo on that car. So I'm not going to talk about this a whole lot. I've made several videos on this uh, when I was talking about the Brandon Brown stuff. So everybody knows my position. I think the teams should be able to uh, run whatever they want to run as long as it's not a bunch of cuss words on the car. But uh, whatever, NASCAR has further, further murkied it. You can't have political uh, slogans unless NASCAR says you can. So really no difference. So why even put a rule in place? And NASCAR has revived its Cup Series documentary plans for 2022, according to John Newby from The Heavy. A new documentary series about the NASCAR Cup Series could debut later in 2022, according to a report from the Sports Business Journal, that is Adam Stern. The new series will focus on the 2022 season and will air on the USA Network. Adam Stern provided the report on February 2nd. The Sports Insider said that the docuseries will begin filming the weekend of February 5th through the 6th. As Cup Series drivers take on the Bush Light Clash at the LA Memorial Coliseum, it will cap off a season of NASCAR docuseries that will begin with the release of Bubba Wallace on Netflix, uh, race Bubba Wallace on Netflix on February 22nd. So according to that, it seems like there are going to be several documentary series going forward. I think they're sort of going to, 
make it like the drive to survive because that has just inflated the popularity of F1 and that's been a great thing for F1. So hopefully NASCAR can get on board and their docu documentary series will be just as good as those and it will increase the NASCAR fan base and uh, you know bring more fans to the seats because more fans at a racetrack, more fun it is. And finally, in today with a little bit of sponsor news, Pennzoil is staying with Joey Logano, but for the first time in some people's lifetimes, Joey Logano will not have that sort of comet looking wing on the side of his car. It is this nice clean all yellow with a red, uh, I guess, racing line at the bottom. So that is the first time that car has been changed in a long time. So uh, as far as the numbers being slid forward, I still don't like them, but that's a pretty clean look for that car. Rick Hendrick and Nations Guard will sponsor Corey LaJoy again for Spire Motorsports. So that's good uh, to see him. And I always think that's an interesting sponsorship that Rick Hendrick is sponsoring Corey LaJoy. It makes me think that that alliance is getting tighter and tighter with Spire. So much like Stuart Haas with Rick Ware, you could see Spire jump up in performance. And I think they will this season. And finally, Sirius is sponsoring Kurt Busch and Christopher Bell. They will be on both of those cars for a select number of races. And in other Kurt Busch and 2311 news, Moneyline has left Penske and is going to 2311. I thought that was really interesting. Moneyline's been with Penske for as long as I can remember. They are uh, going with 2311, and they will be on Kurt Busch's car at least. I don't know if they'll be on Bubba Wallace's car, but for sure it will be on the 45 of Kurt Busch and no longer with Penske. So that was... Uh, I don't know why it shook me up, or it didn't shake me up, but I, 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 it caught me off guard. I thought Moneyline was 100% going to be Penske uh, forever until the end of time. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. Dumb, I guess. All right, that is all I've got for you today. If you like the content, please feel free to subscribe down below. And if you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. I try to get to as many of them as I can. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.